welcome to TCF 2022 in London. I'm Hannah Wallace and kindly joining me now is Ross Manis from Temenos and John Kane from AWS. Hello gentlemen, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me. Oh, our pleasure, glad to be here. So I know you would have heard over the course of the event there have been some really exciting announcements, one of which is the partnership between Temenos and AWS, so that's really where I want to start. Mm -hmm. uh, John, uh, could you expand on this for us and share your insights? Yeah, absolutely. Actually there were two announcements, one very much about the present and one about the future. Um, for the present, we've actually had a multi-year relationship with Temenos, really collaborating to showcase how the Temenos banking system on the cloud can achieve the performance and scale that you can only get by being in the cloud, really to satisfy the needs of our customers. Mm -hmm. We did that back in 2019, and just recently we refreshed those benchmarks, showcasing that we can achieve twice the performance just a few years ago. Which means for our customers, they can achieve the same performance they have on a mainframe, but at a fraction of the cost. Also interesting, we achieved like four times more efficiency from a transaction processing perspective. So when you think of it just from a climate impact perspective, so much more efficient. But probably more exciting is what we're doing going forward. We've announced a multi-year relationship where initially we're going to bring Temenos' products, particularly on the onboarding and uh, origination side, mm -hmm. onto AWS and make those available to our customers. But more excitingly, importantly, we're going to bring the whole suite of Temenos products to AWS and make them available as software as a service. And that's going to give our customers the, the choice to deploy things in their own AWS environment or take advantage of Temenos' experience in operating those type of infrastructures. And for our customers, that means faster time to market, sure. which is really what's driving the industry, as well as the work we've done together to make sure that we're taking advantage of the full benefits of security, compliance, sustainability, as well as scale and performance in the cloud. Brilliant. It's very exciting. It is indeed. Thank you very much for setting the scene. And the key word there, I think, is customer, which brings me on to my next question then, Ross, uh, because I think it's fair to say we've entered an era uh, where customer is king. So tell us, how do you think uh, banks can compete in a landscape like that? Well, I think uh, you know that sort of customer demand, like you say, has really shifted. And I think it kind of revolution started in other industries where you can do everything at a click of a button on your app and do multiple things in one place and mm -hmm. we've really seen that demand manifest itself in banking and it's gone so much further now with banking as a service or embedded finance where they really want to be able to do and consume do banking things consume banking products without going to the bank itself so whether it be through you're buying something on Amazon and you have to buy now and pay later um, so that kind of need for that things to manifest themselves in a, in a non-banking context is really driving a big change. And so banks are really needing to play to that scenario. Mm -hmm. And I think the other area is this is basic within banking services, the need for hyper-personalization. Um, so they really want to be able to do what they really need to do, things be predictive, uh, using the likes of AI and other capabilities so banks can understand almost before they do what it is they're coming to the bank to do. Uh, and so having a, a digital platform that we're doing with uh, AWS, it's going to allow customers to innovate and offer all the different type of things that customers are going to need um, is really key to success, I think. Sure, sure. All right, thank you for that. So leading on quite nicely then, uh, John, where are you seeing traction around uh, digital banking um, in the cloud? Mm -hmm. And um, tell us, what are the benefits there? What about that? So. Certainly over the last couple of years, we've seen a number of digital banks launch in the cloud, completely cloud native, running their full infrastructure within AWS. And as Ross mentioned, we're also seeing sort of those banking or finances as a service players as well, mm -hmm. like a corner of a firm offering their services on top of AWS. And the reason they're doing it is to get to market more quickly. Yeah. Getting away from actually having to procure infrastructure over a three to five year period and make those investments upfront when you're not sure what success is going to look like, it's so much more effective to do in the cloud where you can scale your business along with your customer demand mm -hmm. and get access to kind of more advanced technology and services. Sure. A great example of that is a joint customer of ours in WeLab. Now they were one of the banks competing for digital banking licenses in Hong Kong. And as part of that, they had to showcase to their regulators they could actually build and operate an infrastructure. And they're able to use that combination of Temenos' digital banking platform on AWS in a sandbox environment to demonstrate that, allowing them to kind of get their license, and more importantly, get to production. And that allowed them to change the customer experience, right? They could onboard a customer through a mobile device, 
in just like five minutes, right? And yeah. then they took advantage of advanced technologies like machine learning to do customized credit scoring, taking sort of traditional data like credit scores, but along with social and mobile data to have a more effective way of engaging with their customers. And then of course they could scale their infrastructure along with their customer demand, so they didn't have to make that commitment up front. So it's just a showcase of how customers can be successful in an environment that gives them more flexibility to innovate and sort of lower costs to start. And so it's exciting to kind of work together to bring that kind of innovation to the industry. Sure, watch this space, it's safe to say. And that leads me into my final question. And I want to talk about uh, this term, composable banking services. We've heard a lot about it during the event, but Ross, it'd be great if you could expand on that for us and tell us what it means by that. Um, well, I think the thing we're trying to maximize or unlock and enable is for our clients to innovate, innovate fast, and uh, you know, keep up with this change in the market, which means they need to be able to either create and launch new products, get them into their kind of production environments in their business, and then be able to roll them out to their customers really quickly. But what they want now is a bit more of a lean approach, right? So they want to be able to take a small capability, get that out, prove it, and then be able to expand on it if it's successful, or even pivot from there and, and start spinning up new capabilities and rolling those out. And so composable banking is all about giving our clients the building blocks to be able to put together whatever it is they need to do at a given point in time. So whether they create a new line of business or a new product, to be able to take the pieces of Temenos and of course our exchange partners with Best of Breed FinTechs, pull those together and be able to then get to something out to market quickly. And of course it's evolution, constant evolution from yeah. there that's key. So while this is an incredibly a positive partnership, it's, uh, it's clear that the clients and the customers are going to be the ones to really benefit. Uh, so thank you very much for sharing your insights today. I'll let you get back to the event, which is uh, suddenly warming up. Uh, but thank you very much. Thanks, Hannah. Thank you. Thanks for having us.